A family in Newfoundland holding their pup extra close this morning. They thought he was dead for uh, quite some time. Here is the dog we're talking about, and is he ever a cutie? That's Obi, the Shih Tzu. In the family car, when they got caught in a snow squall and there was a major pileup, chain reaction, Obi went missing, and the family feared the worst. Listen, Peter Cowan is such a great storyteller. I'm going to hand it over to him because he's going to have the happy ending to all of this. Uh, Obi the Shih Tzu, what is the, uh, where is he now? What's going on, Peter? Heather, let me tell you about that crash because that was the key moment in all of this. So as you were talking about snow squalls, the car slammed into a transport truck. The family had to bail out because another transport truck was ramming right up behind them. So uh, this was Tanya Castle Party. She was traveling with her two sons and Obi the Shih Tzu. They all bailed out and she was able to find her two sons, but they couldn't find Obi. So even though Tanya had a broken foot, she was hobbling around this accident site, trying to find the dog, couldn't find any sign of Obi. And her father came and picked them up, and they actually had to drive, because this was on the west coast of Newfoundland. They live here on the east coast, so they had no choice. They had to get in the car and drive back to the east. So what did they do? Well, like any, everyone these days, they put out an appeal on social media. They put out a Facebook post saying, we've lost our dog, Obi. If anyone has seen him, please let us know. They figured it was probably going to be a recovery operation. They were just hoping to get Obi's body back uh, and to get a little bit of closure. They weren't expecting that with minus 20 to 30 temperatures, he'd be able to survive on his own. But five days later, they got a response on Facebook saying, I've seen your dog. I tried to catch him, but he ran away. And uh, so they were then had to figure out, okay, well, what are we going to do to get Obi back? That's the question. They've already gone back to the East Coast. He's still there on the West. What happened? Well, so uh, the father booked the next flight available and flew to the West Coast, uh, got in a car, and it was dark by that point, but they went out looking for Obi. And they found a few little Shih Tzu tracks in the snow. Uh, they looked around, called out his name, couldn't find him. They went back to the car. They warmed up. They said, let's try one more time, and then we'll call it a night. They called out his name, and they heard a little bark out in the woods. So uh, they managed to uh, track him down. He was stuck in the snow. And uh, the first thing they did, of course, was call back to the family back here in the east to let them know what happened. And it was an emotional moment. They was like, who is it? Who is it? I said, Dad, he's got Obi. He's got Obi. And we all, we cried and we cried and we cried. And we probably cried more than we cried the night he was last because we were so devastated. I mean, we were traumatized by the event to start with. And then to lose our, you know, a family member, basically, was just, we, we didn't know how, I didn't know how I was going to get past that. And the even better news in this, Heather, is even after spending all that time in the woods, little Obi, no frostbite. He just lost a little bit of weight, so uh, they fed him, warmed him up, and uh, he's right as right. And as cute as can be. That's, a, that's our favorite story of the day, Peter. Thank you for bringing it to us, of course. Peter Cowan in St. John's.